I am over it. The eating and the gaining of the weight, it's taken its toll on me. I feel fat and just the way that I move, the way that I look. And when I sit down, I can feel rolls and that's gross. Lost my desire to eat. I'm by far in the worst shape I've ever been in my life. Millions of us are overweight. We turn to experts for advice on how to get from fat to fit. But the experts don't understand because they've never been fat. I'm Drew Manning. As a personal trainer, I failed again and again to help my heaviest clients get fit. Eventually, I realized the problem was me. So I went on a journey to discover what it's like to be fat. I've gained 75 pounds. I developed a fatty liver and the kidneys of an alcoholic. Getting fit again was the hardest thing I've ever done, but it made me a better man. Now trainers from across the country are participating in the most extreme weight loss experiment ever. They're trying to gain as much weight as they can and then lose it with their clients. It's a journey that could change both their lives forever. I'm Tramel, 31 years old. I've been a trainer for nine years now. My drive and, and the work ethic that I have comes from watching my dad work. Being a Navy guy, sometimes our punishment would be to go dig a hole. Now what do you want us to do, Daddy? Uh, put the dirt back in, just so you know what hard work is. I definitely take pride in my strength and my ability to lift heavy weights. That is uh, probably the joy of my life. Everything that I do in terms of my diet is done on purpose. Um, it has been researched. Nothing goes in my mouth that hasn't been measured. My whey protein, I've got eight ounces of tilapia, two cups of broccoli. I've been married for a little over a year. We were both big time collegiate athletes. We love health and fitness. We do basically everything together. That was a good catch. She truly is my best friend. Tramel needs me for support as I need him for support, so we just support each other. <laughs> I am nervous about gaining the weight. My wife, she said it was a bad idea, and to be in the best shape that I can possibly be in, um, I take seriously. I signed up for the project, and so now the goal is to get to 240 pounds. Uh, right now, I'm about to look at my client, look at their dossier, and get a little bit to know about them and how they got into the situation that they're in now. Oh, two people. Sweet. OK, my name is Johnny. I am 34 years old, and this is my fiance. My name is Jason. I'm 40, about to be 41. We live in Doraville, Georgia. Jason is an excellent cook. That's partly how he got, <laughs> how he reeled me in. We instantly, like, clicked and just got really comfortable and familiar with each other. We gonna chop some onions, baby. Put it in the skillet with the hash brown. We eat just about every meal together. Certainly. Jason and I feed off each other's bad habits. We might be codependent, Johnny and I, in, in regards to our eating. I taste test. Well, it's not done. Just done it up. You know, we're comfortable with each other and maybe too comfortable sometimes because we don't check each other too much. It's like, well, if you eat it, I'm going to eat it. If I'm going to be fat, he's going to be fat too. <laughs> I want a long, healthy marriage. I want to be an inspiration to Jason and him also being an inspiration to me. It would be awesome if we could feed off, off of each other and keep each other going. I've been to a lot of funerals in the last like 10 years of my life, and a lot of them have been people 
under 50, it makes me nervous. I don't want to die. <laughs> you know, I want to live. I want to live for, for me and for him. We need to be healthy for each other, and we truthfully need a change. Right, I'm going to head to go see uh, Johnny and Jason. The biggest difference between me and someone that is overweight, I think, is just the willpower. You know, most people that aren't in great shape, they lack that willpower. Anybody that says losing weight is easy is full of crap, and they need to shut up and sit down. Seeing an overweight person in a tank top or an overweight person with their legs out, that's what disgusts me about fat people. I think you should put on a sweatshirt. I think you should knock out some push-ups and come back next summer looking right. If you've never been overweight and you've always been fit, and they have no idea, they got blessed. God gave them that metabolism. They got blessed, and so they don't know the struggle. Johnny and Jason, how you guys doing? Jason, I'm from how are you? Jason, nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, hey Johnny. Johnny. Good to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. They say the magic happens in the bedroom. This, this is where the magic happens. This is where the magic, <laughs> where the magic happens. happens. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, I'm going to open up the freezer and just go through what I like and what I don't like. And we'll start with the negative first. Bad news first, I don't like the corn. Being overweight is a, definitely a choice. People choose to eat fatty and fried foods versus uh, clean foods. Uh, applesauce is going to be a no. I'm not a big fan of sweet in general. Of anything sweet has to be as natural as possible. The sweetest thing that I'm going to actually tell you guys that you know, I'm comfortable with you having is a green apple. And that's as good as it gets. That's about as sweet as it's going to get. Pretty much everything else in here is going to be a no. And this is your go section. Oats, beans, and tea. I personally think that losing weight is easy. If you do what is needed to be done, losing weight is easy. I definitely want you to write down, you know, what it is you're eating. Um, I want you to write down your daily habits. And while you guys are doing that, I'm going to be doing something as well. Um, over the next four months, um, I'm going to be living as Johnny and Jason. Um, my goal is to gain 60 pounds. I didn't expect him to drop the bomb. <laughs> the three of us are going to be working together, and we're going to be losing the weight together. <laughs> my mind is like truly blown, for real. Just wow. I'm doing it for you guys. So, you know, I really, I really want you guys to be successful and you know, we'll be in the same boat essentially, but we will row our asses off to to get to, to the shape that we need to be in. I'm I'm really good with that. I like I like the, the approach you're taking with it. It's drastic, drastic. but yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll show you guys what I'm working with. Just a little All bit right. of action right there. Yeah, so you know that's, that's action always hero. Been... Yeah, yeah. Scared. I've accepted it. <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit nervous, nervous. I, I, but I've accepted it. So. Good to meet you. Food is a drug. You hand somebody a drug for the first time, and there's a chance that they may stay hooked. You know, it might be a fight for them to get back. We're in the South. We're in Atlanta. So, you know, I've already got my eye on some fried ribs. Rack of ribs. Fried chicken, fried this, fried that. Yeah, you want to jump on started. these chicken wings first. <laughs> I haven't had a grilled cheese sandwich in like <laughs> 20 years. Round two. Pork, the shrimp sand, turkey sand. Pass me that potato salad, sir. I'd say we easily got 20,000 calories on this table right now. Oh man, this is so excessive. Can we get some mac and cheese? Oh, uh, mac and cheese. <laughs> Yo, there's more. When you need a little more, there's more. Happy? You happy now? Tramel currently weighs 181 pounds. His goal is to gain 60 pounds in the next four months by adopting the diet and lifestyle of his clients, Jason and Johnny. It won't be easy. That will mean lots of sweet and salty junk foods and no exercise. Woo, Ric Flair. <laughs> Let's go, Tubbs. <laughs> I'm done. It's not physically possible for me to eat anything else right now. Oh, it is. <laughs> my stomach started to hurt. My head started to hurt. I believe my body was in shock at the amount of fatty, sugary, salty foods that I had just taken in. Oh, oh Jared, so. <laughs> oh, Jared. Oh, Feel that belly button tighten? Drawstring starting to expand. Started to get bubbly in the stomach. I'm amazed at how crappy I feel from just eating food. 
This is going to be a lot more than what I anticipated. I was looking forward to it until about uh, 25 minutes ago. Now I'm starting to dread it. Whew. Just left the grocery store. I picked the big dude. I followed him down about four aisles. And everything he put in his cart, I put in my cart. It's a whole bunch of mess that I don't never eat. Binge mode on. In the first two weeks, Tramel has methodically gained 18 pounds. But with 42 pounds more to gain, he's got a long way to go. I now have sodas that I drink. Ginger ale don't necessarily taste like ginger. I've been eating around 6,000 calories a day. Breakfast of champions. I've been experimenting with you know food genres that I haven't eaten in a while. I have four corn dogs. Eating mayonnaise and putting cheese on everything kind of defeating the purpose of having a six-pack bag because all this stuff is non-perishable. Icing up my toaster strudels. How good time you got my toaster strudels? I have no shame in my game. I now have made a rule with my clients, if you are a minute late, you have to bring me donuts. All right. This is my life right now. All donuts, all day. Before this project started, I never would have eaten donuts, but now I wake up in the morning, it's like I could go for a donut right now. 213 pounds. My midsection is where I'm gaining all my weight. Emotionally, I, I don't feel bad at all. I walk around playing the drums on my belly. I'm really just trying to have fun with it. 216.2 pounds. Woke up this morning and I had an unusual amount of back fat. Can't say I've ever had back fat and it's kind of gross. Moving forward, everything that happens will be uh, uncharted territory because, you know, every time I gain another pound, it is more than I've ever weighed. It's more body fat than I've ever had over the next eight weeks. It's going to be so brand new to me that I really don't know um, what's going to happen. In the first two months of eating like his clients, Tramel got over halfway to his goal. He's gained 43 pounds, but the last 17 pounds may challenge his health both mentally and physically. How are you? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you doing, Dad? Well, a lot has changed in uh, two months. What, what has changed? I went from eating primarily whole foods, um, lots of chicken, lots of fish, lots of uh, broccoli. And now I just eat um, lots of processed foods, lots of fast foods, lots of uh, sodas, sugary drinks, and things like that. So I'm looking at your numbers, and this is only two months. Your triglycerides have gone from 54, which is absolutely perfect, to 160. Good Lord. So that's 100 and something points going up. You're not gonna like what I gotta say now. Your blood pressure is 142 over 100. You're now officially hypertensive. Okay. We definitely have a history of high blood pressure in my family, so that's not something that I was interested in hearing. What's gonna happen if you don't change things, you will be on blood pressure medicine, and my guess is you'll end up on cholesterol medicine. My grandfather died, and he was taking those medicines. Just knowing that I am destroying my body, it's, uh, it's a bit scary. With all the stuff that's changed, when it's time to get my diet back on and start working out, there's nothing to worry about. There's a lot to worry about. How did the doctor go? Um, I have hypertension. I have high cholesterol. It's the permanent stuff is what worries me. It's pretty scary for this short amount of time. Didn't know that it would be this bad that quickly. I thought it would take years to get to that point. <clears throat> we still have a few months left to go, and I don't want him to have permanent health issues for the rest of his life just because of a few months of eating really bad. I feel like I put on a fat suit. When I sit down, I can feel rolls. 
I feel as though people are always looking at me. I have become very self-conscious about that. Definitely starting to get some fat jokes from the kids. Oh, whoa! You know, a couple kids are starting to call me Tubby. I'm Coach Jamel. I'm so fabulous. And then you're like, like, oh. On the inside, you know, it really hurts your feelings. You're going to have a heart attack. You know that. Why is that funny? <laughs> because you were, like, yelling at us, and you're like, oh. I am starting to understand how someone that is, you know, really overweight can be self-conscious and definitely become a hermit. You need to get past I you. know. All my normal clothes don't fit anymore. Can't wear this anymore. T-shirts that don't fit. I had to buy some clothes from the Goodwill. So it turns out that putting on socks is very hard. It should get bigger. You gotta hold your breath. It has definitely reached a tipping point. Lost my desire to eat. I've already been forcing myself to overeat, but now it's just like to even eat. I'm by far in the worst shape I've ever been in my life. I used to have a six pack. It was a lot more than a six pack. I'm pretty, yeah, I guess misery would be a good word to use. I am over it. Big pieces of fried sugary bread. This will be my last hurrah. One more. That's pretty cheesy. This meal might push to scale maybe a pound or two. Donuts and cheese and fatty foods all kind of taste the same to me. They taste like extra calories. I'm not enjoying any bites of this. Definitely had a lifetime's worth of donuts these past four months. Headed to the gym to do my final weigh-in. Um, and from there, I'll meet up with Jason and Johnny. Once they see that I've actually gone through with what I said I was going to do, I think it should garner a certain level of respect. My goal is to get over 245 pounds. I'll be pleased. Here goes nothing. That's what I want. Hit my goal. Heck yeah, 247. I did it. Yes. In four months of eating, Tremel gained 66 pounds, surpassing his goal of 241. Now he will experience trying to get fit with a body that is 66 pounds heavier. Do you think he's going to be like a blimp or a Thanksgiving Day float? <laughs> Damn, you blew up. <laughs> Today, Jason and I are meeting Tremel. We're going to see him again for the first time since we sat down with him at our table, see how much weight he's gained. Um, <laughs> A beer belly and chubby cheeks. Last time I saw Tramiel, he had six, eight, 10, 12 pack abs. I don't know, something something I don't have and probably never will. Damn! <laughs> uh, we was looking for Tramiel. Have you yeah, seen Tramiel? Yeah, the artist formerly known as. <laughs> as Tramiel. Yeah. <laughs> What's your due date? September 1st. Yeah, immediately, huh? <laughs> How's it going, guys? How's it going? Good, good. Wow. So you did it, huh? I did it. 66 pounds. 66 pounds. 66 total pounds. Damn. I was just shocked. I didn't think it was crazy so much, but I, I thought it was extreme. I thought it was brave. I admired him for allowing himself to come to the heavier side. 15 pounds a month? Oh, 17 pounds a month. 100% it shows a commitment. Got you at 299.5. All right, Jason, your turn. 294 pounds. How does it feel to be the lighter one? Ah, there you go. Yeah, I'm starting a competition already. <laughs> In the past four months, Johnny and Jason have each lost a few pounds. Now they will try to lose 80 more in the next four months. Tremel is starting his fat to fit journey at 247 pounds. He wants to return to his starting weight. 
chest up, abs tight, we got 12. The first thing I got planned for Johnny and Jason is just a movement analysis. I want them to take this assessment and blow me out of the water. There you go. Well, my hands are sweaty. Slippery. Ooh. And you're feeling that more in your knee than anywhere you're else? Knee, yeah. Butt down. Go for 12. You can't get down that low? They have no endurance. They have barely any strengths. <sighs> They're definitely uh, getting their butts kicked. And um, you really haven't done anything too, too hard. OK. How many? You said 12? I said 15, 15. I said. I'm dizzy. I just feel like I got a burp. Um, Very like I acid reflux. You waving a white flag on me? Or are you good to go? Give me a second. Give me a second. If my body allows me to do what Jermel will tell me to do, yeah, I'm going to do it. If my body says I can't do it, it may be a limitation. <sighs> my muscles are strained, no. short of breath, getting a little dizzy. Can I have a cheer or something? Pick it back up. <clears throat> you know, judging a book by its cover, you would think that they were a mess. I rubbed a blister on my hand. You're going to get plenty of those. I was sweating profusely. It was just. A little overwhelming. Go ahead and tell you now, my left side is extremely weak. Where are you feeling it? Right where I had a hernia a year ago. Jason and Johnny might be two of the most difficult clients I have ever had. <sighs> my system is in shock. <sighs> Our bodies will give out before we can lose 80 pounds in four months. There's no way. <sighs> All right, I'm going to set up shop right here. Day two, we're outside of the track, um, setting up our obstacle course that we're going to do today. One, two, three, four. This is going to be a willpower workout. It's going to be bad for all three of us. This is all stuff I haven't done in four months. Um, I know for y'all, it's years on the top of years. I'm about to do this 400, and I'm about to crush this. Three, two, one. It's fast like lightning. I'm a strong believer that motivation is intrinsic. If I can't motivate myself, 50. I don't know how it would be expected for me to motivate others. Let's go, Jamel, let's go. 20 seconds, let's go, let's go. I felt like I wasn't lifting my knees, I wasn't pumping my arms. I could feel all of my fat jiggling while I was running. You did it. <sighs> I felt very slow compared to the speed that I'm used to having. I've always had some type of speed and been proud of that, just as proud as I am or was of my body. Losing that speed is quite humbling. All right, how you feel? Like that? 452. I'll take that. 452. I felt like 452. Tramel did struggle. You could see that. You could see the tiredness in his face, and you could see the pain. I ran. My intestines loose. <laughs> yeah, when you're moving, everything get to moving. Yeah. I felt pretty bad. Lungs were burning, legs were burning. It was pretty bad for me. Who wants to go first, rock, paper, scissors? I'll go first. My man. Three, two, one, go. Yep. The goal is to see if Jason and Johnny can push themselves past levels of fatigue. I'm going right to the kettlebell. There you go. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. It's where you got to push through now. <laughs> but let's push through it. Let's fight through it. Seeing Tremel definitely lit a fire and gave me the inspiration that I needed. All the way through. <laughs> 9.35. I surprised myself with the workout. I was shocked that I was able to finish. <laughs> Good work. How you feel? It hurts. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't just quit. For that, I pat myself on my very sore back. Ready, sir? I think Jason and Johnny's success are very reliant upon each other. Get them back. They're going to be very codependent on each other. And if they're successful, they'll be successful together. I think Jason is going to probably struggle a little bit. Hey. Come on, now that's My five. Lesson. It's getting up there. I'm happy with that. Moving forward, I think Jason is going to need Johnny's support. Push, push. All I can think of is I feel like I'm going to pass out. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. 
I can't. Four. My you got whole. Four reps. Shivering a little bit? No. Carpal tunnel. Oh, I didn't know you had carpal tunnel. Yeah, oh. I do. Set him down for a minute. Let's see how you feel. It's either. You're yeah. just uncontrollably. <laughs> You're gonna get those involuntary muscle spasms. That's hard work. <sighs> Push through it, babe. You got it. Now let's see where that willpower is at. Let's beat this rain. Let's beat this pot, this tiredness. I'm doing this for myself and for Johnny. I've had good intentions in the past. I've gotten motivated, but I've never stuck with it. And two and one. You got 100 meters. Go to the yellow line. Stubbornness, lack of commitment on my part are the things that have held me back, and I'm not going to continue down that path. As fast as you can go. There you go. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. There you go. There you go. Jason needs my support. I need his. We need each other. Let's get under 14 minutes. I just wanted to let him know I'm here for you just like you've been there for me. 13.30. Come on, baby. You got it. Under 14 on, minutes. Let's go. Let's go. No pain, no gain. I'm just going to have to tell myself, tough cookie, deal with it. All the way through the trash can, 1346. No problem. I'm really proud of Jason. I'm proud of myself, too, but I'm proud of him, because to be honest, I didn't know how hard he would push. <sighs> Jason. Yeah. That's how you push through, dog. That's definitely how you push through. You, you let that quit and stuff be for the quitters. I'm not planning to let failure be an option. I know that we can go further, but I think we both had to find out where that line is so we know what we have to push past. For the next four months, Jason and Johnny are gonna work out five days a week. We'll be working out in the gym. We'll be working out outdoors. Let's go pump those arms. Sprint it out. Sprint it out. Don't be sandbagging on me, Johnny. Everything that we can do that's physical, I'm probably gonna have them do it. So now you wanna chase that and make the layup before he makes and you're out already. If you're out, you got to do 50 squat jumps. <laughs> I do feel I'm getting slimmer. Pants that I needed a belt to wear before, I don't need a belt. 231 pounds. I'm ready to turn it up a little bit more. We got a lot of work to do. It's definitely going to be a bumpy road. Keep those arms straight. There you go. Yep. Oh, but I, I think we will accomplish their goals. I see you. I'm in over 18. Last week I was 229. Today I'm 223. Lost six pounds. That's over my goal. For the duration of the project so far, I'm over my goal, so I'm pleased. According to the scale, I've lost seven pounds in the last week. I weighed 277 today. Last week, I was 285, eight pounds, lost eight pounds. We really did the extra workouts <laughs> that Jamel was having us do. So today, it shows. Just for the record, that wasn't extra cardio. <laughs> that was regular cardio. Y'all haven't started doing the extra cardio yet. Yeah. It was extra cardio. <laughs> Jason, what are you doing? Prepping dinner. You're prepping dinner. So, crap and dinner, tell us what that looks like today. Oh, that looks lovely. Is that chicken? Oh my God. Food is actually becoming really wonderful, thanks to Jason. This is not your traditional bread. I have gotten really creative. This is actually cauliflower. And how to it, there's chicken. Mmm. They're good. Very tasty. I got this craving, and I don't feel like eating vegetables. That looks like an empty Pop-Tart wrapper. And I'm even gonna go as far as to put the Pop-Tart in the oven. I'm a little bit surprised at the cravings and how they're still there. Pop-Tarts aren't even that good. It's just the fact that I'm not supposed to be eating them that makes them good. Who am I getting? Pop-Tarts are great. 
Now I understand how hard those cravings can be. My body still wants sugar. It's a battle. Don't tell no one. Right now we're approaching the halfway point. We've been working hard and it's gotten to a point where the easy weight loss is over. They're gonna have to pick up their intensity. If you ask Jason and Johnny, I'm sure they'll tell you that they're working at 100%. It might be at 90%. I wanna get that last 10%. Cut off shirt today. <laughs> Feeling good about yourself. Feeling good about cut myself. Off shirt. You know. Cut off. We'll go ahead and start with our weigh-in. I already know I cheated this week. 222 today. Just step on it, I guess. Sorry. What does that mean? So we got you at 280 today. Last week you was 275. So you are up five pounds from last week. You were 277 last week. CC1. Yikes. 282, so you're up five pounds as well. Yikes. That's a lot of weight in one week. I expect them to lose weight every week, and it's definitely not something that I would be proud of. We've done more physically and not eating any more or extra than we hadn't been before, so I, it doesn't make sense to me. Anything that y'all been eating that y'all haven't been eating? We were at a restaurant, and they had a special New York strip. We had uh, German, German spinach, spinach with it. With it. it was What's German spinach? Spinach and what, sauteed and on vinegar balsamic, and balsamic and vinegar onions. and onions. I'm sure they put it in some butter or something. Yeah. But that still wouldn't necessarily equate to five pounds. Stay away from it. Don't let this happen again. So, what are we going to do? I'm a little confused, to be honest with you. I'm not that confused, honestly. We've been pushing the envelope a little bit. I think portions are a big part of the problem, too. It's not the only problem. Not the only problem, but that big-ass bowl of chili that you bought the other day when I told you, you I, I mean. You trying to lean on but, that, but, but that's not it. One not, bowl of chili didn't give, give me I'm, five pounds. I'm not saying that, but even before we started this, I used to tell you portion sizes, you would do too much. I probably should ease up on the cashews. <laughs> yeah, a whole can in a day. Are you done? We have a long ways to go, really, still, so. I'm anxious because I don't know that we'll be successful. Right now, I'm headed to Jason and Johnny's house. Uh, gonna have a conversation with the guys about uh, what we wanna focus on moving forward. Although I've seen signs of confidence, I've also seen the flip side where you can see where their confidence has been drained. When we came up short on our way in, it was like an instant loss of confidence, so. I want to make sure that they're going to be able to take over the reins of their health and fitness. Hey, what's up, guys? Good to what's see up, you. What's happening? What's happening? All right. Come on in. What I came over here today was kind of discuss where we're at. I want to make sure that you guys have enough push to sustain, you know, your fitness goals. In the past, when it comes to fitness, do you guys think you've helped or hurt each other? We hurt each other because we a lot of times made plans, talked about doing things, and never really put forth the effort and did it. As of right now, who's helping motivate and influence you guys to get in good shape? You're the guiding light in this process at the moment. What are you guys going to do when I'm out the picture? I'm not sure, to be honest. I don't know. That's when you guys got to really lean on each other. It's easy to know that, yeah, I know how to do this leg workout but it's different to get your butt up and take his butt with you. And it's even more difficult when you don't want to get your butt up. That's where y'all got to really lean on each other. I'm going to start backing away a little bit, and I'm going to let Jason and Johnny kind of start pushing each other. In my opinion, them working together is the only way that it, it'll last. They, they really have to be able to push each other and to stay positive. You know, I hope that I instill a new knowledge that they'll always keep with you, but it don't mean a thing if you're going to sit on the couch. Kind of being left on our own right now, especially at this point when things are, when you're turning it up <laughs> on us. I don't know that we could turn ourselves up to that. I believe that in the next few months, things will get harder. Y'all are y'all's two most valuable assets right now. I think you got to start pushing yourselves that's the only way that y'all are going to be able to make this a lifestyle change. And the key word with that lifestyle change is life. And you really got to be able to do it 
for your life? I think the next couple of months is going to be tough. It's going to be a, a challenge. I'd venture to say that Johnny and I are about 40% of where we need to be in terms of being ready to fly solo. Tremel has reached the end of his journey. In the first four months, he struggled to gain 66 pounds. It's kind of gross. He spent the next four months trying to get back to his original weight of 181. In his effort, Tremel has learned valuable lessons that will last a lifetime. The last few months have been very trying, just getting back into shape. I'm definitely feeling more like myself. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Tremel. I've been kicking my butt in the gym. I've been doing lots of two-a-days of training. Weight training, lots of squats, bench press, deadlifts. So I'm at 199 pounds. Not quite where I wanted to be. I guess I came up short today. Tremel weighed in 18 pounds heavier than his starting weight. It's not as big of a deal as it was eight months ago to be this body of a god. That version of Tremel doesn't exist anymore. I think now I appreciate you know, the simpler things, having a happy life is much more important than stressing over four or five pounds. I gained better perspective on how I value my health more so than maintain my physique. It's a big reveal for Jason and Johnny. So um, right now I'm headed to go and see people come together in a celebratory fashion for the work that they put in and for the changes that they have made. I am very excited to see how people react to them, especially those that haven't seen them in a while. So I'm Tramel. I've been working with Jason and Johnny for the past four months. Um, it's been very trying. It's yeah. been very exciting. We are we're ready to unveil the guys to you. Yes. <laughs> yes. I am so excited. Like I. Was there in the beginning? I've known them both for years. I want to be very jelly, <laughs> very jelly, because as you can see, I'm a plump guy myself. I'm ready to see how much of a difference their lives have been. And then we will see once the guys come in how how well they did. Eight months ago, Jason and Johnny were horrible influences on each other. Every decision that they made in terms of health were bad. They did not eat right. They did not work out. They did not live active lives. And they were headed towards an early death. I'm feeling anxious, nervous. I've been emotional about today. I want people to see someone that's making progress with their health, their partnership, and everything else that we've gone through together. When they came through the door, I was shocked. I think this has been a great thing for both of them. Yes! They have lost an amazing amount of weight. It made me want to do it. Right. Now, can we get the real Jason and Johnny in here? <laughs> I got a little bit emotional. I teared up. I'm not used to that kind of reception from friends and family. 
I feel like I've accomplished a lot. I feel like Johnny and I together have accomplished a lot. I feel amazing. A real weight <laughs> has truly been lifted off of my shoulders, off of my stomach, off of my ass, off of my thighs. <laughs> I feel like I never want it to end. It's been a ride, <laughs> you know. It's been a struggle at first, but I really got to give Tremel his props. Tremel really noticed our strengths. He noticed our weaknesses. He helped us be stronger where we were weak, and we wouldn't be standing here today without all of his hard work. So I really, I really got to say thanks. I gained so much throughout this process. I gained a better perspective on the difficulties of being overweight. When I look at Jason and Johnny, I see totally different people than where they were when we first started the process. I think this life change is much better than any number on a scale can tell you. Over the course of the experiment, Jason lost a total of 54 pounds. Johnny lost a total of 59 pounds. More importantly, they changed their lives and plan to continue their weight loss journey. They're standing in front of you looking, you know, a lot leaner than they were four months ago. I'm extremely proud of myself. You never could have told me that in such a brief amount of time that I would make such a monumental change. I feel like a different person. I feel that I can hold my head strong and say I've done a damn good job. I'm gonna continue to lose weight and I'm gonna still hit that goal. So I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys something real quick. He ain't gonna want me to tell you this, but I'm gonna tell you this. I had to drag this man. <laughs> kicking and screaming at first. And I'm really, really, really proud of you because you fought through it. You fought through it. There were days where he had to pull me along, <laughs> get me up. So we both kicked those walls down. And um, I appreciate you for how you helped me. And uh, we gotta help each other, you know, that's life. We gotta be there for each other.